Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm going to show you how to make hidden sprites. So here's what I want to do. I want to make it so that I click on the sky and then something's going to fly across the screen. So first thing I need to do is I need to add in a sprite that's going to fly. So when I click on here, I can check out the different sprites here. And I actually like this one, cat flying. So I click on it. And I like the sprite, but I don't like the size of it. So if I go to the size right here, I can change it to like 55%, press enter, and it makes it smaller. Now, um, what I want is I want the sprite to hide when the green flag is clicked. So I don't see it because it's going to be hidden. Otherwise, if we see it, it's not really hidden. Um, and I want to make it appear at some point. So when I click on the sky, it's going to show up. And right now there's no event for that. I'll show you that later. And I want it to go all the way up to the top left corner. So uh, check out these numbers right here. So we see it's negative 53 and negative 14. But when I move it up here, now it's got those coordinates for it in the go to block. So I'm going to use this to tell it to start here. And I want it to move all the way across the screen. So to do that, we can use a glide block. But instead of doing it right now, I'm going to move this first. So it changes the numbers. And aha. So now we're going to glide from negative 228 to positive 228. So let's see what this does. So when we press the green flag, we hide our sprite. And uh, eventually, we'll figure out what event will trigger this. But when we click on this, it's going to show. And the uh, cat's going to fly across the screen. That's really cool and all, but I want Scratch Cat to actually hide at the end of this code. So we're going to add in a block that says hide. So it runs it, and then Scratch Cat goes away. Now, I want to actually add in a sound for this. So I'm going to go to sounds. And then right here, I'm going to choose a sound. All right, so I'm in the sounds, and I'm going to go to the effects. And I'm going to pick one that um, will make it sound like they're flying by. Ooh, yeah, space flyby. So I click on this, and that saved the sound. And I'm simply going to use the block that says start sound. And I'm going to put this in between these two motion blocks. So the reason why I'm using start sound is because I wanted to begin the sound to start it while it's also gliding across the screen. And I don't want it to do the pop. I want it to do space flyby. So if I had used until done this version of the block, it would have played this entire sound and then run the glide. And that's not what I want. So I want to start sound while gliding. OK, so let's see if this works. It does, but it's um, going by too fast. So we still hear the sound when Scratch Cat's already disappeared. So let's try two seconds. That works perfectly. OK, so now that we have this code doing exactly what I want, I want to actually create a uh, message that is going to say when the sky is clicked. So we're going to say new message and say sky is clicked, or something like that, and say OK. And to start this event, we're going to go to our sky code. And we're simply going to broadcast sky is clicked and change the color. So now when we click on the sky, it's going to change the color, broadcast this message. And when it broadcasts this message over here in the cat flying, it's going to run all this code. So let's check it out. Cool. So every time you do this, not only does it change the color, but it also makes the cat fly across the screen. So add in some hidden sprites into your no touching project and uh, make some surprises for the people who use your project. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.